Josh, you've put pen to paper on a new deal. How happy are you with that? Yeah, over the moon. Um, it's something that's been going on for the last week, but I'm absolutely delighted to get it over and done with today. How much are you enjoying your football at this moment in time? Yeah, um, as you can see, I'm trying to play with a smile on my face. Um, I'm enjoying it as much as possible. And the thing was, um, I wasn't in the team before, and I just got down back working hard, and then I just can give my chance, and I think I've took it, and I'm enjoying it. How hard did you have to work to to get yourself back in the in the manager's uh, frame of mind and to get into the starting lineup? Yeah, I've worked like behind the scenes so hard. Um, been here for 11 years, so I know how hard it is to get into the team, and thankfully I've done that. But now it's about keep working hard and just keep doing what I'm doing. Obviously, it was your second start of the season when um, against Rangers in the the semi final. But but what was that like for you? Yeah, I said that in an interview. I was there a year ago, Wedding my City, and there was no fans. And what a difference it was to walk out to all the Hibs fans singing and cheering, and the atmosphere it was just amazing. Yeah, and you've had a, a string of starts since. For you, what what's that? What does that do for for your confidence levels? Yeah, I've I feel like I always believe in myself anyway. Um, but playing with people around me and. The gaffer always backs me and says, don't worry about mistakes, and it just helps that little bit, and you can go out and be confident. How much of the coaching staff helped you uh, develop different parts of your game? Yeah, massively. I've always spoke to Potts and Dave um, uh, after training, and he was just giving me tips and all this, and then you just take it into the game, and I've done that, and the gaffer's liked what I've done, and that's why I've played. Yeah, and I can imagine playing um, at this level week in, week out, really helps develop you as well it kind of fast tracks you almost yeah well you look at Porches and you look at um, like Ginto young players Kevin Nisbet and the way that they've performed in the gaffer I just want to follow in their footsteps prior to, to you signing um, a number of, of different players have, have put pen to paper on new deals as well from your perspective what what's that like yeah you can obviously see that the gaffer is trying to build something here and Ben as well um, it made me want to sign more with the players that are signing as well so yeah, that's why. What what's the group like? How how much are you enjoying kind of being part of of this this squad? Yeah, it's, it's a squad that I've been with for years. Um, like Paul, Dave, uh, Daz, Louis, they've been here for years. And the new boys that have came in, Jake, getting all the Marth, the ones that I've not known before, but they've all just bond together, and it's a great team to play in and to train with. Against St Johnston, there were five academy graduates in the starting lineup and six in the match day squad. It shows that there's a real pathway for young players here. Yeah, and um, that's I think that's down to Eddie May with the academy. Um, you can see that I was there, Ryan Porteous, Jamie Gillen, and you can just see that the work behind the doors here at Hibs are obviously working very well. Yeah, they're they're really putting a lot of effort into to helping progress young players into the first team. Yeah, um, you look at the facilities around here; they're brilliant, um, and you've got everything you need: all the sports scientists, all the coaching staff, and it's just the best place to work at.